They say that it's a small world, but is it? How much do we know about the different cultures with all their strange traditions? People are so different in their way of life that what feels like a customary tradition to some seems like a bizarre notion to others. And remember that if you look for the deep meaning behind these strange traditions, you will probably find that they make weird sense, regardless of their eccentricity. So let's take a look at some of the strange traditions around the world, and keep in mind that what may seem so weird to you feels normal to other cultures. Some tribes in China follow a strange tradition where the husband carries his wife and walks over burning coals. These tribes believe that this practice would help the wife have painless labor. And some believe that walking over burning coals prevents natural disasters. Some choose to do this as the husband and wife take their first step into their new home and some choose to do it when they know that the wife is pregnant. The husband usually does this barefoot with his wife on his back. Ouch, this tradition seems pretty painful. In a yearly festival locally called El Colacho in the Spanish village of Castrillo de Murcia, men dressed as yellow devils run and jump over babies. During this festival babies born in the previous year are placed in arranged rows of pillows spaced out down a public street. Then men dressed in bright yellow costumes and weird masks begin to run down the street jumping over the rows of children like Olympic hurdlers. This tradition started in the early 1600s, the villagers believe that it keeps the devil away from these children. The babies are sprinkled with rose petals after the run. The German custom is called Polterabend. It is an informal party where the family and friends of soon-to-be-wed couples gather to break porcelain items such as dinner wares and flower vases. The couple should then clear up the broken things. This tradition is believed to bring good luck to the new marriage. Or at least to show the couple the significance of hard work and unity, which are an integral part of any marriage. If you are single in Denmark, it is customary for your friends and family to throw you a birthday celebration by covering you in cinnamon when you reach 25. Many believe that the tradition dates back to when spice salesmen would travel around and remain bachelors. These salesmen never settled in one place long enough to meet a suitable spouse. However, the Danish people probably kept the tradition because it provides them with a fun way to celebrate a significant birthday. Well, it's all fun and games until you reach 30, and then they exchange cinnamon for peppers. That doesn't sound like fun. According to the Satirma tribe from the Amazon rainforest, in Brazil, a boy does not become a man unless he can withstand being stung by a swarm of bullet ants. This ant has the most painful sting among all insects, some even say the sting is just as excruciating as being shot by a bullet. The initiation ritual includes the boys sticking their hands in a glove full of bullet ants while they dance. Moreover, this tradition is not a one-time thing, the boy must go through this routine as many times as it takes for him not to cry during the process. The day he can endure this torture without shedding a single tear is the day he becomes a real man. The Taraja people of Indonesia practice this absurd culture of putting a body in a temporary coffin before resurrecting it. In villages located in the mountains of South Sulawesi, Indonesia, shamans have been raising the dead for centuries. According to the religious beliefs of the Taraja people, for a deceased person to reach the afterlife known as Puya or the land of souls, their corpse must be returned to the place of their birth for burial. The corpse is raised from the dead and walks to its new resting place. Celebrated by Hindus in southern India and Southeast Asia, the festival of Thaipism observes the victory of Lord Morrigan over an evil spirit. Devotees pierce themselves with sharp objects through different parts of their bodies while going into a complete trance. Some even go as far as pulling vehicles with hooks pierced into their backs. 
In honor and celebration of the huge numbers of macaques living in Lopburi, Thailand, a luxurious banquet is held every year. This annual buffet is to thank the monkeys for all the good luck they bring to the area and the people living there. The Monkey Buffet Festival is enjoyed by many people tourists flock to the town around the last Sunday of November to witness this spectacular event. The annual festival starts with an opening ceremony including elaborate performances by dancers wearing monkey costumes. Watching the macaques jump across the tables and climb the huge pyramids of vegetables and fruits, around two tons of offerings every year, is certainly fun. Nonetheless, spreading a feast for monkeys is one of the top strange traditions around the world. Footfolding was a popular custom in the 10th century in China, which was at that time a condition for female marriage, as the small foot was a symbol of beauty at the time, and mothers used to tie their daughters' feet with bandages from the ages of 4 and 5, forcing them to endure pain for several years. You can witness the countless suspended artifacts and occult phenomena on the chilling cliffs along the Yangtze River, in China. Some cultures in China bury their family members and hang them over cliffs after death. Coffins are generally hung 33 to 164 feet high and some even as high as 328 feet above the ground. It is still not known for sure how the coffins were placed at such great heights. Records of hanging coffins date back almost 2,000 years. It's a common practice for the people in Salapur village, Maharashtra, India, to toss newborn babies off the terrace of a 50-foot tower. There are people at the foot of the tower holding sheets to catch the baby safely. It is believed that this gives their children good luck, long and healthy life. The Tomato War is one of the traditions spread in the city of Valencia, one of the cities in Spain. The participants throw tomatoes and get involved in a tomato fight purely for entertainment purposes. Since 1945 it has been held on the last Wednesday of August, during a week of festivities in Bunol. Every year Muslims from around the world hold religious mourning ceremonies for the third Shia Imam who achieved martyrdom in the desert of Karbala in 680 AD. On this day, several groups consisting of Shia Muslims go out with whips attached to knives and blades and start beating them up unstoppably. This tradition has been passed over to their descendants for generations. Lip plates are predominantly used by the Mercy, Sara and Suma tribes in Ethiopia. These tribes are well known for the large clay plates that their women wear on their lower lips. Once a female reaches the age of 15 to 16 years, another woman of the same tribe will cut her upper lip and insert a wooden plate into it. As time passes, bigger sticks are added to the already stretched lips. Different plates can be exchanged as the lip stretches further. While it's not compulsory to wear the lip plates at all times, it is common to see women walking around with their loose lower lips dangling freely. The Yanomami tribe who reside in the Amazon rainforest bordering Venezuela and Brazil are repelled by the idea of burying the dead. They believe that no physical trace of the body should be left to allow the spirit to rest in peace. The ash and bone powder obtained after the cremation is mixed into a plantain soup which is consumed by the deceased's family. By doing this, the Yanomami believe the soul of their lost and loved one will reside within them. Well, the list doesn't end here, there are many more such traditions practiced around the world. These customs have a very ancient origin. But the thing is it feels really weird when you still find these traditions so intact these days, 